this video is about multiple regression I have a dependent variable x9 x19 that is customer satisfaction and independent variables from x6 to x18 x so we'll do a multiple regression analysis we go to analysis regression linear select the independent variable here that is satisfaction and the independent variables from x6 to x18 in statistics i want the descriptives the part and partial co co correlations the collinearity diagnostics the confidence intervals i won't check Durbin Batson because it's a cross sectional data. In plots, I need standardized residuals on X and predicted values on Y. And in histogram, I need a normal probability plot. Also, I need to produce all produce all partial plots. Here I will check unstandardized because I would be checking it for normality. A Mahalobanese distance because I want to check for the hour of tilius. In enter style, I would prefer stepwise. Yeah, so now we are ready to work the linear regression model which is multivariate. This is the descriptive statistics of the variables. I look at the correlations. X19 is my de independent variable. These are all my independent variables. The highest correlation is X9, that is 0 0.603. So I, in the stepwise regression, my hunch is that X9, X9 will be the first variable, followed by the next highest, that's 0 0.551 and 552. By zero, right? Is a level of significance. Yeah. X nine has been taken in first, and then the others. Here we test in the stepwise regression. First, first variable is taken in. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. That is X eleven. First, uh, we take in X nine, stepwise. Then x6, x12, x7, and x11. You see the percentage increase in the r square value. When it's a model 5, that's all 5 um, independent variables, it explains around 0.791. This is used adjusted r square value for comparing different models with different sample sizes. Look at it, the ANOVA is significant. We can Go and check the standardized coefficients. In standardized coefficients, x9 is taken in the last model x9, x6, x12, x7, and x11. It explains a huge around 0.791 of the variance. You look at the collinearity statistics and tolerance. Oh, the first variable explains only x9 it explains a unique variance of only 58 percent 70 percent 30 37 and 0.92 but if, we, if you look at it when only four variables were included here it was a very high variance it was explaining when the fifth variable was includes it reduced that means there is a high correlation between these two But since 
the VIF is in within the uh, range of 5 the multiple collinearity is not a problem we check for the excluded variables the excluded variables collinearity statistics the Mahabellonis distance is 0 0.921 to 15 considering our sample size of 100 and he estimated parameters of 5 plus 1 6 or 97 this Mahabellonis distance is accepted let's look at the charts the histogram looks quite decent probability plot the data is hugging the diagonal but it's not that satisfactory but visually it's good the scatter plot of the studentized residual dual versus standard predicted value it looks almost zero suggesting no homoscedacity effects now we'll look at the partial regression plots that is with the dependent variable satisfaction with product quality okay there is non no non-linearity so this all these variables passes linearity effects too if we look at it there is no non-linearity curve or something like that so this model explains is having explains the relationship between dependent and independent variables only what we will be doing here is to just we need to check uh, the uh, do a test for the normality of residuals so that we go to explore and the residuals understand as residuals which put independent and plots uh, normality plots we test and okay yes the kurtosis is 0.62 is shapiro wilkes test suggests does uh, this does not suggest normality however colgrom smirnoff test suggests normality at 0.2 that means residuals are also normally distributed so that's it